Yes, sir. That's how you stretch a fence right there. Use old Rita for what she's really made for. All right, well, a couple of things. Uh, first off, when I mentioned the other day in the video that we got around this corner by flipping the fence over, yeah, it was, it was too good to be true because now our fence has been rolled on itself. Like, I thought we flipped it, but then I thought we didn't, and I actually just didn't even notice what happened. We actually flipped it way up at the far end where the cart's at. And uh, so now as I'm going through standing it up properly, I'm having to roll this, this turnover in front of me, and I'm going to have to keep rolling it forward all the way around as I keep standing it up. Um, it's not too bad, but just like anything else, it's just it's annoying, and I'm, I'm very quickly making up that excess that uh, we were short on the other end when I said we were about a foot short we've got about 15 feet of excess right here it seems like so uh, anyway I'm stretching the second section right now so if we look down the line there it's looking pretty good and you know I mentioned how we were using the trees for fence posts and now you can see they line up real nice we just put a couple t-posts in up there a little further out uh, where there weren't trees spaced good um, the other thing I was going to show you was how I'm having to stretch this one because the other night we just hooked onto the bucket of the tractor and I could park the tractor wherever I wanted, but I don't have that here. So I actually reversed the come along. Obviously I've got my chain and what would normally be the dead end and the, the, the riding end here, I wrapped the hook around the tree and then hooked it back to its own deadline. And now as I'm ratcheting it down, the pulley here is working its way around and into the tree. But I think that damage is pretty well done. It's not gonna hurt the tree in the long term. Um, I'm going to put a few more clicks on it here and then I'm going to start walking the line and driving in nails. Yes, sir. That's how you stretch a fence right there. Use old Rita for what she's really made for. I was actually a little reluctant to do this because you can't really feel the tension on it. You know, when you're using the come along, you can feel the tension. When you're using the tractor, you can't. But for this last little run here, since I've got all the room to do it, I just hooked it up. Hooked it up to the bucket up there that I've got and stretched it. It took me, uh, about 30 seconds. I didn't have to pull it to come along hooking it all up. So, good little time savings trick there. But just got the last run stretched out here, so it's all done all the way around. We're just going around nailing it up to the trees, and then we're rapidly learning that a lot of our T-posts <laughs> aren't quite in line. You see that third one out there is about a foot out to the right, as is the entire tree past it. So, uh, a little lesson learned there. We should have been more conscious of stringing our string along the trees to see but that's okay we got spare t-posts so a few trees we won't be able to use that's all right um, i'm gonna go ahead and get nailed into this corner right here and uh unhook all this and be done stretching wire i'm debating if i want to turn this excess around i'll just wrap it back around or cut it off as a scrap it's only about 10 foot um but i hate wasting something like that you know i hate having as odd cut scrap I might just wrap it back around the post kind of loose and tie it back just so it's not not cut off and wasted but haven't decided yet that'll be the wife's decision probably <laughs> 